Father, Lord, we thank you, Almighty God. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us back again this morning. We give you all the glory. We give you all, all, all the honor. Be thou glorified, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus, for counting us among the living this morning. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Who is like unto thee, Father? There is no other God like you. Father, as we are here this morning, this, this morning to praise your holy name, to talk about the jewelries, Father, we pray that you give us more understanding in the name of Jesus, that after living here, Lord, our life will never be the same in Jesus' name. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm very sorry for the delay. Hallelujah. I've, something just came up. I have to fix it. I mean, I wasn't here. I was downstairs. I had to fix it. I'm very sorry. Hallelujah. But we are back. Praise God. We are back to continue where we stopped yesterday. And I greet all my sisters that are in London. I greet Sister Heather. God bless you. Sister Shade. Sister Sherry. Sister Glory. Sister Mireille. God bless you. Sister Mercy, Sister Shelley, Sister Shimwanya Onyekwere, all of them, Sister Nancy, Sister Franca, Sister Lilian Abu, Sister Diana Flor, Sister Selina, Sister Shade, Brother Ivo from yesterday, Pastor Johnson, I greet you, Sister Clark, I greet you, Sister Camila, Sister Temi Tope, Sister Oh, Emily. All of them, I greet you and I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you so much for coming today, for being here today. So, yesterday we were talking about uh, jewelries. Jewelries as a property of, of magical power. You know, we saw, the, we saw a woman here who was kind of showing her magical, you know, she, she, you can see how she's advertising jewelries. I have another video from her for you to I know. I want to tell you for you to know that there is there is a power behind jewelries. Hallelujah! Let me just show it to you before we go. Amen. Before we go on, praise God. Mm. Yes, I'm very sorry. I, I was busy this morning. It's not easy to do one thing together. It's not easy. I pray God will provide somebody that will be doing this job. Amen. God bless you. So let us continue. objects of the eight Buddhist auspicious objects, you know. But in recent years, the mystic knot has had a sudden revival of interest all over the world. All the big names, all the big designer houses, they've suddenly discovered the magic, the pure magic of the mystic knot. This is the mystical knot I'm talking about, okay? And this is something that you can just put on your desk and you can put all kinds of good, uh, good luck wishes inside there and you put it on your desk. But what actually is the mystical knot? Round and round, you can't get, you just do three times and you get a parking space. Try it, try it. Try it if you don't believe me. And if someone's giving you... You see, this woman, she's into magic. She's advertising magic behind the idol, behind jewelries. So you see how much these gold things, all those things are very, and when you are taking it, you are putting it in your body, you are defiling the temple of God, my sister. So let me, let us continue. So we saw uh, jewelries as a property of uh, magical power. Yesterday we saw uh, jewelries as a property of allotry. We saw how, uh, yeah, we explained everything. Hallelujah. Now, today, by the grace of God, before we continue, I don't know if there are questions. If you are on Skype, on Skype, hallelujah. Amen. If you're on Skype, praise God. Sister Heather can see me. God bless you, Sister Heather. Woo, hallelujah. You will come here live to speak to women. Amen. One day, Sister Heather is from London. She came here in Ireland. 
to visit us. She's from Jamaica. She lives in London. And the Lord has transformed Sister Hayden. When she came here, the Lord has transformed her. And because of that transformation, she has been cast out in, her, in the church. But I told her, I said, this is just the beginning. You know, don't worry. The Lord will bring you to another level. And Sister Hayden, she's from Jamaica, but she lives in London. You will see how God is transforming the life of women. The Lord wants us to live in holiness. Hallelujah. I'm so happy for you, Sister Ada. I'm great. You can watch us because you could not get us before. She was trying and trying. She cannot watch us before. But today, Sister Ada is online. Praise the Lord. So, Sister Ada, yesterday we spoke about, you know, jewelries as a property of our allotry. Jewelries as property of, um, of magic power. You know, we spoke about jewelries as a property of uh, adornment. Yeah, it's an adornment before God. But today... By the grace of God, uh, we continue today. The people that use jewelries in Bible days, I like this place. <laughs> this is where people say, Oh, Abraham did this, oh, oh Joseph did this one. Oh. oh, oh, let us open the Bible, let us open the word of God. Hallelujah! Before they, you know. Let, you have to know that the use of jewelries in Bible days was of hidden origin. Hidden origin. Pagan origin. You know? Where life was completely abandoned to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the life, the pride of life. You know? So let us, you know, if, if you read in Exodus chapter 3, verse 21 to 22, you, you will understand that what I'm telling you is true. I read in Jesus' name, uh, Exodus chapter 3. If a sister can call from Skype, amen. I'm just trying to get myself back. I was busy downstairs. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21, amen, to 23. I don't know if a sister can call. I will name them. I'll be calling you. <laughs> yeah, praise God. Virtuous women. <laughs> Hallelujah. I read verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptian. And it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor of, and of her of, of her that sojourn in her house, jewelries of silver. You see, the other time I said when they talk about gold, gold means jewelries. Here he even explained, he said, jewels of gold, jewels of silver and raiment. Hallelujah. When the, the Bible says, Do, don't adorn yourself with gold, it means jewelries. Whether it's silver, whether it's diamond, whether it's any kind of things. It is jewelries. Hallelujah. So he said, But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourn in her house, jewels of silver, jewels of gold, and raiment. And you shall put them upon your son, upon your daughters, and you shall spoil the Egyptian. We all know now that the Egyptian, Egyptian people, they use jewelries. So jewelries is, is coming from pagan history. It's not from God. It's an origin, you know, from... It's, it's pagan. Hallelujah. It's pagan. The origin is pagan. You see here that the Egyptians use jewelry. You understand? But we'll talk about it later. Let's open George chapter 8, verse 24 to 26. George chapter 8. Anybody that is there? Amen. George chapter 8, verse 24, 26. Let's read. And Gideon say unto them, I will desire a request of you, that you will give me every man the earring of his prey, for they had they had golden earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. You know, Ishmaelites. Is there anybody that can read me better English for me? Please. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hey, God bless you. Let me read with my English. I pray you will understand. But they had golden earrings. But they were, because they were Ishmaelites. Verse 25. And the answer. We will willingly give them. And they spread 
spread the garment and did cast there in every man the earring of his prey. Verse 26. And the way of the godly, godly earring that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold, besides ornaments and color, purple raiment that was of the kings of Midian, beside the chain that were about their camel necks. You see, verse 24. Verse 24. Verse 24. For they had golden earrings because they were Ishmaelites. So note that the use of earring was not restricted, restricted to women among the hidden. So women can, among those hidden, the use of earring was not restricted. We all know that. We are correct. Hallelujah. That all of them can use it. Men use them too. Men, those times, men use earrings. Women use earrings. Hallelujah. You, and they use it freely. It's not like now when a man use earring, you are you are surprised. It's like an abomination. It started long time ago. You know, it's, it, it looks shockly, very worldly to some today when they see a boy, when the boy is wearing earring. Ah, oh, this one is ungodly. You know, this has started long time. Men wear earring too. So, don't say that you are wearing a ring because you want to show that you are a woman. No. Who told you that? Who told you that to, to be, to show people that you, you are a woman, you need to put a earring? Is it written in the Bible? Is it the law of God? That to differentiate a man and a woman, you need to put earring. Who told you that? Men do put earring. And they put it freely. They put it freely. It was free. And God knew that because they are pagan, that they are putting all those things. You know? Uh -huh. so the way you are seeing that it's ungodly it's not clean you know when you see a man wearing it it is how god see is to when you a woman you wear it before god is ungodly it is unclean the same way you do ah when you are shocked when a man put on earring that is the same way god is shocked when you are putting on all those things because you will see let's go you know so we can so all those things are ungodly and the bible nowhere in the bible the bible allow 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 uh, the use of uh, earring and, and rest, uh, for women and restrict 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 the use of earring for men nowhere nowhere god didn't say women should wear earring men should wear earring and you know those days Men are wearing earrings. So why are you shocked when men are wearing earrings now? You say it's a, it's a sin. Is it reaching the Bible? So if it's a sin to a man, it's a sin for a woman as well. Uh -huh. So the use of earrings on, on the ear of women are unclean, ungodly in the sight of God, even as they are used on the ear of men as are uh, to, uh, to us and much more unclean. Hallelujah. So because now... People think that men that use earrings, they are homosexual. Women putting uh, ankle, uh, all those chains on, the, on their ankle, they are lesbians. That is just uh, maybe a, a signification, you know, you know. But the use of it is ungodly before God. You are the one saying that, okay, women, men that, who put earrings in their left ear, they are homosexual. You are the one. That is your own interpretation. But before God, whether you put it here, right uh, ear, left ear, nose, nose ear, you put it in the leg, you are God. It's ungodly before God. Ungodly before God. Let's open uh, number chapter 31, verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody wrote to me, let me read. Oh, yes, yeah. Sister Shade, you can read for us. Number 31, verse 1 to 3, and 48 to 51. So you first read one uh, number chapter 31. Uh, you go to Numbers chapter 31. You read 1 to 3. Then you go to verse 48 and 51. Uh, 51. If you can call Sister to, to read for us, I will be very grateful. God bless you. 
So, Sister Shadi, if you can call to read for us, amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if she's there. Okay. Let me read. I will read. Sister Shadi is not there. And uh, verse, verse 1 to 3. Oh. You are not showing online. Ah, okay. Let me call her because I am. Oh, yeah, sister, you are calling. Let me call you. God bless you, ma. Sister Shade, God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Thank you so much for reading for us Amen. this morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Numbers chapter 31, verses 1 to 3. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel of the Midianites. Afterward shall thou be gathered unto thy people. And Moses spake unto the people, saying, Arm, arm some of yourselves unto the war, and let them go against the Midianites, and, and avenge the Lord of Midian. Is that the one I'm to read, my sister? Yes. And then verse, said I to go to verse 48. Verse 48 and, and 52, 51. Okay, 48 to 51. And the officers, which were over thousands of the old, the captains of thousands, and the captains of hundreds, came near unto Moses. And they said unto Moses, Thy servants have taken the sum of the men of war, mm. which are under our charge, mm. and there lacketh not one man of us. Mm. We have therefore brought an oblation for the Lord. Mm. What every man has gotten mm. of jewels, of gold, mm. chains, and bracelets, rings, earrings, and tablets, mm. to make an atonement for our souls before the Lord. Mm. 51. And Moses, and Eliezer the priest took the gold of them, mm. even all wrought jewels. Amen. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Amen. Let's continue. <laughs> so, the jewels gotten from these people were chains, bracelets, rings, earrings, tablets, necklaces. These were used by the Midian, um, um, uh, you know, the Midianite, you know. So the Midianite soldier here were men. So this shown that even men use gold. They use jewels. Hallelujah. It showed clearly that the hidden men also use all kind of jewels. You know, you see, you, you notice here in the in the scripture, the, the Bible, the, the scripture listed all these items of jewels. It say of jewels of gold. In verse 50, jewels of gold, chain, bracelets, ring, earring, tablet. Tablet means necklace. Hallelujah. So we have you have from, from this verse, you see that even the hidden, even the hidden use that jewels were used by the hidden nations, not the godly people of Israel. Not the godly people of Israel. You understand? So that's why even the backslide, the back, the idolatrous Israel used them too. You know, Israel was influenced, you know, by the hidden nation around them. They want to do like them. They want to act. They want to. They envy them. The 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 hidden nation was was influencing them. You know, they began to adopt all those hidden way. Amen. In Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30, Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30, he said, When thou art poor, let me put it in a way that somebody can call me to. Because if I have to call people now, anybody can call me. If you want to read, you just call. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30. When thou art poor, what will thou do? Thou, though thou clothest thyself with crimson, Thou, though thou takest thee with ornament of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain, in vain, thou shalt make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise this. Thou will seek thy life. Amen? Amen? So the picture in this passage show the life of a landlord, you know, not a godly woman. This picture show. This this passage this the picture in this passage is that of a, 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 an alert, 
not of a, god, uh, a godly woman. You know, so the on on adornment of the 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 on, of this ungodly character includes clothing of uh, with a crimson, decking with ornament gold, uh, ornament of gold. We spoke that gold is jewelries. You understand? Renting the face with painting. Amen. So and the purpose of it is for immoral attraction. Immoral attraction. The purpose of of Clothing yourself with crimson, decking yourself with ornament of gold, renting your face with painting. Painting means makeup. You know, all this is for immoral attraction. Amen. So those among Israel was who had done themselves with this thing were the backslidden one. Among the children of God in Israel, those who had done themselves, they were the backslidden one. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 5 to 10. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 5 to 10, 25 and 27. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I think, yeah, this is one of the things that we spoke yesterday. Hallelujah. Yeah. I think we spoke all this thing yesterday. We, are, we just have to continue about another topic today. Yeah. You know, any anybody want to watch the video of just today uh, know what we spoke yesterday those are the things we spoke yesterday so today we have to go to another topic sorry about that my mind is this morning somebody just ring the bell and i have to receive the person amen so i'm kind of we thank god hallelujah so let's up the let's open genesis chapter 5 verse 1 to 5 if somebody can read for us you know, the the mind of God, the mind of God on the use of jewelry was, was revealed quite early in the scripture. Please, my sister, before we continue, I want to sing. I want to sing. Amen. I want to sing. Let the praises of the Lord come down. Let the praises of the Lord come down. Let the praises of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the praises of the Lord come down. Let the spirit, let the spirit of the Lord come down. the use of jewelries and, and when you will read this passage you will see how God revealed himself to Jacob amen so the mind of God on the use of jewelries was revealed even in the Bible let us read Genesis chapter uh, 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 even the Old Testament Genesis chapter 35 verse 1 to 5 and God said unto Jacob 
Arise, go up to Bethel, dwell there, make there an altar unto God. Hallelujah, a sister is calling. Amen. So let's continue. And make there an altar unto God that appear unto thee when thou, thou fledest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange God that are among you. Be clean and change your garment. Hallelujah. And let us arise, go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God. Who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands, all their earrings, all their earrings, all their earrings, which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Sitchin. And the journey. And the terror of God was upon the city that were around, were around about them, and they did not pursue, pursue after the sons of Jacob. Ha! Oh, when God called Jacob to go to the place of consecration, my sister, this is what the Spirit of God directed to Jacob. The Spirit of God spoke to Jacob. Sometimes the Spirit of God will speak in your heart. Sister, these things are true. You know you are the temple of God. Remove this. But you, you don't believe. You don't want to listen to the spirit of God. But Joseph, 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 ah, hallelujah, to consecrate his life, to consecrate his family back to God, Joseph has to put away the strange God. Joseph has to clean, they have to clean themselves. That is what God said. God said, clean yourself. They change their garment. You know, they remove all their earrings that were in their ear. You know, they put away the strange God. One, they clean themselves. Two, they change their garment. Three, they remove all the earrings. You know, all the earrings. All the earrings. So, this implies that, you know, any kind of earring. They put them away without reservation. Big earring, small earring, large one, the one that is dropping, all the earring, all of them. Gold, silver, the one, any kind of, they put it away. They put it away. Hallelujah. Amen. The one that, the, 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 the one made of gold, silver, precious stone, you know, all kind of material, the, the, the fake gold, the, 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 the real gold, the fake silver, the diamonds, fake one, you know, precious one, lesser one, all of them, they put them away. They put them away. They say all. A-L-L. -L, all. Amen. This implies that they were different size, long one, short one, large one, you know, tiny one. All of them, they put them away. They put them away. This cleaning exercise, you know, blessed, you know, by cleaning themselves like this, this bless them. This make the heart of God happy. Can you just use this verse and compare it to your life? Don't you want to be a Jacob? Jacob, for him to go and concentrate himself consecrate himself to God. He has to put away this strange thing. And that time there were not any, you know, there were not any law yet concerning these jewelries. But the Spirit of God revealed this to Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of that, the blessing of God came upon them. If you read verse 5, verse 5 says, the job and the journey and the terror of God was upon the city that were round about them, about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. If you want to have the blessing of God upon your life, you need to put away the strange God. One, you need to cleanse yourself, 
cleanse yourself, allow the, the, the blood of Jesus to wash away everything in your life. Two, you have to change your garment. You have to put away the garment of what the world. Changing your garment, that means now is the outward appearance. That body. You have to put away the body appearance of the world and, and let the body of the appearance of the Holy Spirit clothe your body. That body is not even your own. Sister, if you only this verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20, if you can read it every day, say, my body is not my own. Therefore, I must glorify God with my body. Because Jesus Christ bought me at a higher price. You know, Jesus suffered for me. Because what can you give to God? Tell me, is it your money? God has silver and gold belongs to him. God is, is the one that created this earth. So what can you give, give him? Your house? All God wants is to give him your body, your heart, your time, your mind. That your body so he can use your mouth to talk to people. Your hand so he can use your hand. To reach people, your leg to go where you cannot you go to where you will go and preach the gospel. It can use your appearance to 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 begin to speak in the mind of people. When they will see you, they see my sister. Ah, oh, this woman, something is up. You know, something has happened. Ah, oh, Claire, something is Claire. It's not a kind of. Why does she look like that? She look holy, 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 holy. Hey, maybe Claire is born again. No, Claire has joined this born again people. They, they will just be saying, maybe, maybe until you now come and confirm me with your mouth. So let your appearance preach. Amen. So by putting away the strange God, cleaning yourself, changing your garment, removing all the earrings, your all those jewelries, you know, all those garments, ungodly garment, you are, you know, ungodly garment that doesn't glorify God, those tight fitting dresses in your body. You put it away, then you begin to appear like a child of God. You begin to live like a child of God. You begin to act like a child of God. You begin to reason, reason like a child of God. You become a new creature, physically, spiritually. You begin, you become a new creature. There, there are two kinds of Christian today. Worldly Christian, godly Christian. The godly Christian are very few. All of them, they have confessed Jesus with their mouth. But few of them have set that Jesus to really come in their life. Because when you say, Lord Jesus, come in my life, it means come and change my life. Come and remove this Adamic nature in my physical, in my spirit. Everything about me, Jesus. Let it be Jesus. You understand? The reason why they call you Christian you are, you, are, you, you, are, you are a little Christ. You cannot be Jesus himself, but you, you, you look like Jesus. When, when Jesus was were arrested, they saw Peter. They said Peter looked like them. He looked like one of them. When they see you, you must look like somebody, like a disciple of Jesus Christ, sister. You understand? So, you can see like... Uh, the the the, the 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 blessing of God was upon Jacob and his family because of what he did. Hallelujah. Amen. So now let us go in another the physical body. Let me tell you this, my sister. God prohibits. God prohibits. I hope you understand my English. God prohibits. God prohibits. The abuse of the physical body. God prohibits the abuse of the physical body. Hallelujah. Let us read in Leviticus chapter 19 of uh, chapter 19 verse 20, 28. Leviticus chapter 19. You can anybody can call now. Hallelujah. This TV is not for Sister Cleo, it's for us. All women, we are going to heaven. So your voice, your contribution, we have another sister. Amen. Hallelujah. We are working together. Amen. 
I am marching over to Jerusalem. I am marching over to Jerusalem. 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 I'm going to be there. Oh, I want to be there. Oh, I want to be there. Oh, I'm going to be there. Oh, Jerusalem. Forevermore. 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 Hallelujah! We are marching to Jerusalem. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28. Ye shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the death, nor print any mark upon you. I am the Lord. Amen. The sister is calling again. God bless you, my sister. Oh, she want to read. When she want to read, I'm reading. Sister, if you want to read, eh? The best thing, you know, you off your, your, your television and you call. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, you shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the death, nor print any mark, mark upon your, your, your body. You see? God prohibit Israel. God prohibit his own people. God prohibits you, my sister, from making any matter of any manner of cutting your body. Hallelujah for the dead. Only slaves who desire to remain with their master throughout their life could have could have a hole. You know those days, only slave slave people they can they can pierce their ear to have a hole so that they can know that you are a slave. So if you go to dinner and pierce your your ear, you know. You you are you are you yourself you are saying I'm a, I am a slave because those days only slave people put on ear a hole on their ear. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 1 to 6. No, verse 1, verse 5, and verse 6. Amen. Let me call my sister. I think she wants to call. Sister Glory, God bless you, woman of God. Amen. I don't know if you can read for us Leviticus chapter 21. Okay. Can you read this? Yeah. Can you read Yeah. Verse 1, verse 5, and verse 6. Can you read this Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto the priest, the sons of Aaron, and say unto them, Sister, if you can lower the volume of your television, among his people. Then verse 5. Okay. Hello? Hello, yes. Yeah, that's better. Okay, verse 1. Leviticus 21, verse 1. Verse and the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto the prince, the sons of Aaron, and say unto them, There shall not be defiled for the dead among his people. Then verse 5. Then they shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they have shaved off their corner of their beards, nor make any cutting in their flesh. Verse 6. Verses, they shall be holy unto their God and not profane the name of their God. For the offering of the Lord made by fire and the bread of their God they do offer. Therefore, they shall be holy. Amen. Amen. Praise yes. God. Sister, read before you go again. Read Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1 and 2. Okay, Deuteronomy 14. Fourteen verse what? One and two. Okay. Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. For they for for thou are unholy people. Amen. God bless you, man. Lord thy God. And the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people Amen. unto himself. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Glory. Bless you. God bless you.
Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for this. So you know, the hidden, the hidden people, the reason why God is saying this because he knows that if you don't say that, Israel will begin to copy the hidden people. The hidden cut themselves. They are the ones that make, make their head bad. If, if we still have it, even in my, 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 where I come from, in my village, when somebody die, they, they used to bat the hair. Thank God. I grew up in a Christian family. My mom used to tell us that, my daughter, if tomorrow I'm gone, please, if they want to bat your hair, don't bat your hair. Because God does not want us to bat the head. Hallelujah. Amen. So, for the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. So, they even cut themselves. They, they make their head ba bad for the dead. So this was forbidden among the children of God. Every child of God, every priest of the Lord knew that this was forbidden. You know, since the use of earrings was for from the uh, hidden people, so it was natural for them to cut their hair that year. It was natural for them to pierce, pierce their ear. Let me show another uh, video again that I showed yesterday. How somebody was cutting the ear. Hallelujah. They pierced the ear. These are the things that God doesn't like. Amen. The cutting of the flesh. Cutting your flesh. Blood will come out. Sister Shade tried to explain to us yesterday concerning this cutting of the flesh. But I just want to show you again. This is what God and a, a child of God, a believer will not do these things, but today people are doing it. You understand? God have mercy. So let me put it on again. Two, dois, três, you see these things? Cinco, it's counting. Six. You see, this is how the hidden cut themselves, and and this one was an abomination before God. This is why the Lord told His children not to cut themselves. But for the hidden people, you know, the use of hearing was natural for them. They will cut their ear. They will open holes. But God will not allow. God will never allow His holy people. God will never allow his children, you know, to, 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 to disfigure their body. The body that God has given to you, God will never allow his children to do that. Our body as believers is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, the temple of, the temple of God is you, my sister. God has made us good for himself. Whether you are a man, whether you are a woman, both men and women, no hole should be perforated through the ears or nose. Because God made beautiful, made you beautiful for his glory, my sister. So to perforate a hole through the ear, the nose, is to abuse the body. That is why I said earlier that I said earlier that God prohibits the abuse of the physical body. The abuse of the physical body. You that pierce your ear, you put a hole on, on your ear. You are abusing the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, if your conscience cannot tell you that, if you if if you were doing it by by ignorance, today you know the truth. Now you have to repent because it's no more ignorance before you. Christian parents must not must not put holes. They must not bore holes through the ear or the nose of their children. You have to be an example for your child, my sister. And don't allow anyone to do so. You are, you are a believer. You are a priest unto God by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my sister. I want you to watch this video very well. And let it stay in your mind. Let it stay in your heart. Each time you cut off your, you piece your ear, you piece your ear, you are abusing the, the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are abusing, you can see this unbeliever, for them it's normal. For them it's normal, they are even counting it. Listen. They are counting it here, they are counting it. 
They are counting it. You know, he's counting. He's counting. That is it. You know, he's ignorant. He doesn't know Christ. But you that know Christ. You that know that your body is the temple of God. Why are you destroying the temple of God? Let us read in it. You know, there's only one, one place that God allowed the piercing of the ear. And we should know the reason why. Because somebody will say, oh, tell that woman that God allow it. It's in Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 16 to 17. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 16 to 17. Somebody can read for us. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 16 and verse 17. Amen. I will read. And it shall be if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loved thee in thy house, because he is well with thee. Verse 17. Then thou shalt take an oil and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant forever. And also unto thy maid servant thou shalt do likewise. This is the only scripture where God permitted the creator permitted the ear of his human creature to be perforated. You understand? Which is no more obtained in the New Testament. Only in this Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 16 to 17, this is the only verse where God the Creator permitted it. You see, why did it? Why? Because this concerned a slave who desired to remain with, uh, uh, with his master, Forever, you understand? The slave who, who consent to, to remain with his master forever for life, you know, that is that is when now the whole must only be made to one ear, only one ear, one ear, not both. That whole was to serve as a mark of lifetime commitment to his or her master. Hallelujah. Not for earrings. So if you put on that hole, it's on one ear. It's to tell people that I am commit as a, I am a slave, and I'm commit for life for my master. That is why people, you know. But the holy women. Oh Jesus! I don't know if you understand this. For you to pierce your ear, you need to pierce it. Only one side. That is God. He said, if you want to remain with, to show, to tell your master that you want to be his slave for long, for, 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 for life. And only one ear, not both ear. If you want to be a slave. But, apart from that, the holy women among Israel, they did not pay for it. A hole. Through thy nose, through thy ear, and did not hang on earrings or nose ring. They were obedient to the word of God. Because God said you should not cut anything. Before you put on earrings, you need to cut it. That blood need to... Sister, let, please, do not abuse. Oh. Do not abuse. Do not abuse. Let us read uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 5. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 5. Amen. It says, it says, Who's adorning? Let it not be that adorning. He said, Who's adorning? Let it not be that adorning. Adorn and he will explain. He said, You're adorning. Let it not be that adorning. 
Hallelujah. And he will and he will try to go down. Go deeper. Hallelujah. Let your adorn. He said, Oh God. Who's adorning? Let it not be that ad word adorning. If God, because some people say, No, you know, God was just saying that your adornment was not be only. He didn't say only. He didn't say only. He said, Let not be that at war appearance. Obey that one. Let it not be that at war appearance. What is not me saying, you know, is first Peter chapter 3, verse 3. He said, Who's abdomen? man? Let it not be that at war man. Have you obeyed that one, sister? Have you obeyed this scripture? You have disobeyed. You have disobeyed. You have, you have, in your heart, you have decided to destroy the temple of God. This is not more the Old Testament. This is the New Testament. Because in those days, God has not revealed himself fully to his people like the way he has revealed himself to his church today. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. God has not revealed himself to his children. To, it was just... He was gradually. He has not revealed himself to his children the way he has revealed himself to you, my sister. He even said, let your adornment, let, let it not be that hard work adornment. And then he will go now. He will begin to say, of plaiting the hair, of wearing of gold. Gold is just jewelries. I've told you earlier. Putting on of apparel. Putting on of apparel. Putting on of apparel. Those apparel that is showing your, your, your nakedness. You know? Showing your nakedness. You know? But verse 4. Let it be the hidden man of the heart. Let thy hidden man of your heart adorn your body. Let thy hidden man of your heart adorn your body, my sister. Put away that outward appear adornment. Oh. Gold, chains, bracelet, anchor chain, nose, nose, nose chains, rings, wedding rings. Wedding rings is a ring. If you say the wedding ring is different from the earrings of the ring that people put on their toes, show me in the Bible. Show me in the Bible where God said, accept the wedding ring. Show it to me. Where is it in the Bible when God said that when you get married, for him to uh, 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 agree that marriage, you must wear a ring in your finger. Where is it? People will begin to take the example of Abraham. Oh, Abraham allowed Eliezer, his servant, to go and put it on, 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 on Rebecca. Yes, Abraham married two wives. Go and marry two wives too. Yeah, he had Aga. He had Sarah. Go and have them. Go and marry them to wife. If God will not send you to hellfire. Yes. God have mercy. It's verse 4. Let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible. Corruptible. Even the ornament of a meek. The ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God. Of a great price. God wants to clothe you with that honor, that meekness. Hallelujah. For him, before God, that is the best ornament ever. Hallelujah. God does not want you to put on the garment of an alert. Ah, no, no, no. No, no, no. Because that body is not your body, my sister. That body belongs to the Holy Spirit. That body is the temple of God. I have to tell you this every day. I have to tell you every day. Let my voice sound like the trumpet. So that on that day, before the judgment seat of God, God will bless, God will play my voice. You will hear it. Sister, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Stop defiling the temple of God with unclean thing. Hallelujah! Ah, 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 sister. Why have you let the devil to blindfold your eyes? Why have you let the devil to deceive you, my sister? That your body is your own. You can you can do whatever you want to do with your body. Only God have allowed you, what God has allowed you to do with your body. That is what you will do. Don't add anything. He said, let you add, he said, oh, you are done, man. Oh, let it be the hidden man of the, your heart. 
who you are inside that is must be that your adornment hallelujah this is god saying no he said your adornment must be the hidden man of your heart your adornment must be the hidden that is first peter chapter 3 verse 3 this is not uh uh uh, uh the Deuteronomy. Because when I say open Leviticus, you say Leviticus is Leviticus. That is the Old Testament. Today, this is the New Testament. First Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Oh, God have mercy. And he will even go inside. He said, let it be the... He said, who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of letting the hair. When I say plating your hair, it's attachment. All those fake hair that you will put in your hair. Hallelujah. Those fake hair. Those weaven. Those weak. Those... Of uh, 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 ungodly things that you put in your glory because your natural hair is your glory. Your natural hair is your glory. Your natural hair is your glory. Hallelujah. Amen. So let, let it be the hidden man. He said, Sorry, who's oh, when I read this place, I said, God, why not children of God? Oh, if you want to disobey all that, all that, all that place in the Bible, please obey this one. Obey this one, my sister. Obey this one. Obey this one. Who's adornment? Adorning. Let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair, of wearing of gold, or uh, and uh, of putting on off apparel. Verse 4. But let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Verse 5. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also, the Bible is telling you that in the old time, the holy women adorn themselves with that in uh, that hidden man. Hallelujah, that hidden man of the heart. He said, for, for this matter in the old time, the holy women also who trust in God adorn themselves. Hallelujah, being in subjection unto their hus own husband. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, so we're going to go to the case of Abraham now. We don't have much time, but we will go today, amen. So, let us examine the case of Abraham. Can somebody open Genesis, Genesis chapter 24, verse 22, verse 22, verse 30, and verse 47. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter, you know, this is where Abraham's servant gave ear to Rebekah. Genesis chapter 24, verse 22, verse 30, verse 47. I read. Verse 22. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, and the man took a golden ring of half a shekel wig and two bracelets of, uh, for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and bracelet upon uh, verse 30, verse 30, verse 30, let's jump to verse 30. And it came to pass when he saw the earrings and bracelet upon his sister's hands. And when he heard the voice, the word of Rebecca, his sister, saying, Thus pack the men, thus spake the men unto me. Then he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. Verse 47. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter are thou, are thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milka bear unto him. And I put the earring upon his face and the bracelets upon the hand. Amen. Praise God. So, Abraham's servants, he, he, here in this passage, he's the one who, he's the one that gave the word to, her, to Rebecca as present. Are we okay with that? Good. Uh -huh. So something that since Abraham's servant gave jewelry to Ab to to Rebecca, the 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 the, the, the would be wife of Isaac. So Abraham's uh, 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 Isaac that was uh, Abraham's son. So some people think that because of that, jewelries are acceptable by God. So, but we need to know. You know. 
You, you need to know something, my sister. You need to know where Abraham is coming from. You and me, you know, Abraham is coming from idolatry country. God had to remove Abraham from that place. To send him somewhere else. So, Abraham has an idolatry background. I hope you are okay with me. Oh. I don't want you to think that I'm adding something. You know? And with and all, not only Abraham, Adra, Abraham had a company of people living with him. And these people also came out with him. Are we okay with that one? And one of these people that came out with him from that idolatry country was Eliezer. Eliezer. Eliezer was Abraham's servant. Eliezer was Abraham's servant. Joshua chapter 2, uh, verse, uh, chapter 24, verse 2 to 3. I read. And, and, jo and Joshua said unto all the people, Thus said the Lord, God of Israel, Your father dwelt on the other side of the flood in all time, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nacor, and they serve other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side, from the other side of the flood, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his seed, and gave him Isaac. Hallelujah. So, God, God revelation of himself. God's revelation of himself, God of himself, God, uh, uh, revelation of, his, of himself, revelation of his ways to Abraham had been very gradual, gradual, it was gradual, it's just like when you give your life to Jesus, if you start eating meat, you start eating meat, you understand, you, you, you will be, you will be, I don't know, if you give birth to a child and you are feeding the child with milk or with a, with a meat, that child will be abnormal. His growth will not be well. Because Abraham was coming out from, from idolatrous, idolatry country, God was revealing himself gradually. Gradually. And to tell you the truth, the, 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 the Ten Commandments came after. Hallelujah. So God was revealing himself to Abraham gradually. Revealing himself his way to Abraham gradually. But what God loved in Abraham is that Abraham is a father of faith. He, he was coming up from an idolatry country, but he heard God spoke to him. He said, come out and go. And he just picked everything. Pick his servant. He, he took Sarah. He said, I should go. I should go. That is where God really love you know Abraham but he was revealing himself to Abraham gradually hallelujah so I will show to you that there were many things there were many things about God about the ways of God that he didn't reveal Abraham reveal to Abraham let's open Exodus chapter 6 verse 2 to 3 Exodus chapter 6 verse 2 to 3 Amen. We shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Exodus chapter 6 verse 2 to 3. Let's read. Verse 2. And God spoke to, unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I bear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah. Was I not known to them? Let me start again. And God, Exodus chapter 6, verse 2 to 3. God spoke unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name, Jehovah. Was I not known to them? Hallelujah. 
So the revelation of God, the revelation of God and his way were progressive, progressive throughout the Old Testament, Testament and God perfected in the New Testament. God was revealing to his children, himself to his children, you know, gradually, 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 but he perfected it in the New Testament, which is today. So don't compare yourself with those people. Because if they knew what you know today, they will not do such thing. Oh. They will not do such thing. Hallelujah. So, and, and today, you, those that say, okay, because uh, Eliezer gave a uh, ring to Rebecca, therefore, we should put on earrings. Therefore, we should use all those rings, wedding rings. Therefore, ring is not a sin. Okay. What I was saying like before, Abraham mar married Aga. Are we okay with that? When he married Aga, God was already speaking to him. God was speaking with Aga, uh, with uh, Abraham. He married Aga as, as a second wife. And God, God didn't say anything about that. You understand? But you a believer today, go and marry a, a second wife. Try! Try! Go and marry a second wife. Go and marry a second wife. You say, okay, I, uh, Abraham married Aga. Let me go and marry a, a second wife. Try. Try. When God says you must be blameless. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, the, fact, the fact of jewelry given to Rebecca by Abraham, you know, were done in ignorance because Abraham did not know the mind of God concerning jewelries. Abraham did not know the mind of God concerning jewelries. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are okay with that. And 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 there's nowhere is nowhere in the Bible where God Abraham is the one that asked Eliezer to 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 put on all those things. It doesn't you know it doesn't say it right that Abraham you know Abraham is the one that asked Eliezer to do exactly like Israel said you know because the Bible said that Israel sought a consent consent in his heart. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So that's the thing. Praise God. Praise God. So don't 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 don't, don't try and go and, 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 and imitate Abraham and think that you'll be blameless. Don't don't go and do that to say so, okay, Abraham, they did it, they did it like that. I mean myself, I will do this. This first Peter chapter three, verse three will condemn you. Hallelujah. So I hope the case of Abraham is settled. If you have any question concerning it, you call now before we go to another case now. I'll give two minutes. It's okay. So we are okay with that. Let's continue. The case of Pharaoh. You know, people will say, hey, Joseph. Joseph put a ring, a ring on his uh, on his finger. Therefore, I must do, must put healing. It's not a sin. It's not a sin. Let's go. Genesis chapter 41, verse 42. <coughs> Hallelujah. Am I alone here? Or we have daughters of Zion here. Daughters of the Most High God. Genesis chapter 41, verse 42. Amen. Hallelujah. This topic of jewelry is, I don't think we'll finish it today, but we are progressing because everybody needs to be clear. I read, Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vesture of fine linen and put a gold chain upon his neck. We, we read earlier that the hidden origin was for them it wasn't a sin men wear earrings men wear necklace 
you know. And Joseph was implored by Pharaoh. And he was offered, he offered this thing for honor, dignity. You know, those times when you, they will give you a ring. On that ring, there is a signet. Maybe the signet of the Pharaoh himself. So it was a symbol of honor. It was a sim symbol of, uh, of dignity. You understand? You know, according to them, according to their belief, you know. So, now, in the case of Joseph, in the case of Jesus, Joseph, we don't know whether Joseph used them or not. After these days. Therefore, this scripture does not justify the use of jewels by believers today. Full stop. Any question? Uh, we don't know whether he used it always or uh, after that day he used it. We don't know if he knew the mind of God concerning it. If God has given himself to him concerning that, the jewel is. Therefore, the case of Joseph is not, will not, this scripture will not justify the use of jewel is by believers today. So any question before we go on? Hallelujah. Uh, amen. It looks like people are busy on Skype. Nobody can. <laughs> it is when, since this is the same topic, you people can go on. Amen. So the children. Now let's see the case of the children of God collecting the rays from from Egypt. And we'll finish here. When we continue tomorrow, we we'll continue tomorrow with the, another case. You know the case of uh, uh, King Saul. People say King Saul wore a uh, bracelet on his arm. Therefore, it's not a sin. King Saul. Uh, uh, this the daughter of Israel. God compare this, 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 this. All this thing will be read. The queen of the queen in gold of Ophi. You know the oh, we we'll go, we we'll go, we we'll look. Now, let's open Exodus chapter three. Amen. Exodus chapter three, verse twenty one to twenty two. Exodus chapter three. Amen. I hope you are blessed. Oh. So the case of Abraham, don't use that one and say, because Abraham, Rebecca, and this, this, I will go and put on earring. If you want to go and put on earring, earring because of Rebecca, Abraham, and Eliezer, go and marry a second wife as well. If God will, will, will not, will, you will not face the judgment of God. You want to compare yourself to Abraham. <laughs> it is well. Uh, yeah, verse, uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. Yes. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptian. And it shall come to pass, and it shall come to pass, that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But, this is when I meant people now, they rejoice. Ah! Ah! Hey! You see, the devil is very tricky. He will use verses in the Bible now to make people not to sin against God. Yeah, you see, you see ah, God is the one that told the, he, he, Israelite to, to take jewels. Therefore, put it, put it, put it, put, put it on you. Put it on you. <laughs> oh, it is well. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor, of her that sojourn in her house, jewels, jewels of silver, Jewels or gold, you see, I told you gold. When God said the Bible said gold, it means jewels. Jewels of gold and remnant, and ye shall put them upon your son and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptian. This is where now many people the devil will be deceiving people with this area. <laughs> you know, some people will say, but God here. Yeah, Insulted Israel to collect these jewels and to put them on their son and their daughters. So, how then these things are evil? If God knew that this thing is evil, why God would tell would tell them to put it on their son? We tell them for, to put it on their, the, the, their daughter, you know. 
Oh, God have mercy. Apart from the use of these things in bodily adornment, jewelries were treasure. Jewelries were treasure. Jewelries were treasure. That time, jewelries were when you have jewelry, that uh, uh, the gold, when you have it on your position, it show how you are wealthy. You know, it's like it, it, it was money for those to those that possess them. You see somebody who says, Abraham, bless God, bless Abraham in gold. In, they were not using a uh, naira. They were not using a uh, hero. They were not using palm. They were not using sefa. They were using gold. They were using all those things. So it was, uh, 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 apart from bodily adornment for the hidden, it was, it was treasure of wealth, money. Amen. They are used in body. They are used in body. Adornment was forbidden by God. Hallelujah. But it was acceptable for other things. But for the bodily adornment, it was forbidden by God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why the jewels of gold, silver were used in the in the to build tabernacle. Hallelujah. That is why they took those things. That is was the mind of God. Amen. So God gave them this instruction. Why? Why God asked them to take away the gold? Why? To plunder. You understand? To 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 to, to finish Egypt like I don't know my English, but if I want to use good English to plunder Egypt from his world. You understand? Because they have misused Israel for a long time. It's, it's, it's like to pay, it's like the payment. Hallelujah. Because God is a right job. He's a just God. So to plunder Egypt of their wealth in payment to Israel for their long time servitude. You know, Israel was working, working, working. They don't pay them. So they have to plunder Egypt. Take all the spoil. Hallelujah. So, God did it as a just God to fulfill his promises to, Ab to Abraham. He has to do that. When God then say, I will do, I will do. Amen? Amen? So, jewelries are personal, personal treasure in those times. Riches. It was wealth that can be used in a trans a business transaction. Hallelujah. So, let us read the... Uh, 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 so because of that now, because God promised Abraham that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bless Israel. Hallelujah. Let's let us read the uh, uh, Genesis uh, fifteen verse thirteen and uh, fourteen. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter fifteen. Yeah, verse thirteen and fourteen. I read, and he said unto Abraham. Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. When he said thy seed, it means Israel. And they shall serve them. And they shall afflict them for a hundred years. Uh, 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 they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom that they shall serve. Will I judge? And afterward they shall come out with great substance they shall come out with great substance they shall come out with great substance that is the promise god made to abraham and god has to fulfill it that is why he asked the israelite plunder israel egypt yes take all their gold take all their wealth because before god it was wealth it was treasure he has to fulfill what is promised to abraham oh god amen all these things to provide silver to provide God for the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Because the reason why he took out his people for him, his people to go and serve him and worship him. Hallelujah. If you are, you, 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 you don't, you, you, you are not, you say, you want to argue, let us open Exodus chapter 25, verse 1 to 3. God help me. Verse 1 to 3 and verse 8 and 9. Hallelujah. I read, 
And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart. Ye shall take my offering. And this is the offering which ye shall take uh, of them, gold, silver, Ooh. hallelujah, uh, amen, some sister, you call it, hello, hello, my sister, God bless you, yeah, I was like, uh, trying to read, but you were reading already, <laughs> amen, so said, yeah, thank you so much, man. Yeah. You, you can read, okay, Exodus chapter 25. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering. And this is the offering which you shall take of them, gold and silver and brass. What verse again, my sister? Verse 8 and 9. And let them make a sanctuary that I may dwell among them according to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. Amen! Sister, read Amen. Exodus chapter 35, verse 4 to 5, and verse 20 and to 22. Okay. Exodus 25 or 35? 35. 3, 5. Okay. Yeah. 1 to 5. Exodus chapter 35, verses 1 to 5 says, and Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded that ye shall do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, mm. let him bring it an offering of the Lord, Amen. gold and silver and brass. What verse again? Uh, 20. Okay. Verse 20. 20 to 22. Uh, to 22. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses, and they came everyone whose heart stirred him up. Amen. And everyone whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the lost offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And for all his service and for the holy garments. Amen. Verse 22. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing hearted. And brought bracelets yes. and earrings mm -hmm. and rings mm -hmm. and tablets, mm -hmm. all those of gold. Mm -hmm. And every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You understand? They gave willing. Don't go, my sister. They gave, they, those that love the Lord, they gave willingly for God, for, 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 for the construction of the tabernacle. Because that is the reason why God wanted to use those things. Because God was meant to construct, not to put upon the upon you. Hallelujah. Go to okay. number number chapter 31. Numbers 31. Verse 50 and 51. Verse 50 and 51. Yes. It said, We have therefore we have therefore brought an oblation for the Lord. What every man has gotten of jewels of gold, chains, and bracelets, rings earrings and tablets to make an atonement for our souls before the lord yes and moses and eliezer the priest took the gold of them even all rods jewels yeah they will and, yeah they will bring all those things for to be used for for the for the purpose that god because the god was to build the tabernacle hallelujah so let's yeah. go to exodus chapter 3 verse 21 that's the last one exodus chapter Chapter 3. Yes. Verse. Verse 21 and 22. Exodus chapter 3, verses 21 and 22. And, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house, jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And you shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and you shall spoil the Egyptians. Amen. That's good. Amen. God bless you, ma. Amen. So, 
Now, I the reason why I read all this thing for you to know why the gold the jewels was meant of that now let's go back now in exodus that the verse that our sister just read why god allowed these people to he said put on your daughters because in their state the state of their spiritual life there was not even he was god was removing them to go to the it's in a wilderness that is going to change them it's in the wilderness that jesus has made the new law but there you understand it, 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 it was this it was not it, it, this was not strange because having stayed in Egypt for so long time without the knowledge of the living God, you know, Israelites they were practicing idolatry, you know, you understand. So God God for it was not you know because after this after these things they didn't put it on them again as a dressing. You understand it, it when in the wilderness when God will begin to to, to 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 give him give them their law they will not put put it on them anymore hallelujah so it wasn't something strange you know because they were idolat you know idolatrous people already how many years they stay in, in egypt everything was just egypt egypt they think like egypt they act like egypt people they you understand it's just because of the covenant that God made with Abraham that God remembered them. God raised somebody like Moses to remember them. But these people were, were bodily. These people were idolat people. See how when even when God brought, brought them out. See, it was so difficult. How many people entered the, can, the, 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 can, the, the promised land? How many of them? How many? All of them. Most of them perished in the wilderness. Because of that Egypt mind. You know, so it was not... God have not... God, as I told you earlier, God was doing with Abraham gradually. It wasn't the time for God to tell them, okay, don't put on this. It was just for them to take it and bring in the wilderness. It's in the wilderness, it's going to tell them the purpose of all those things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the reason why he asked them to put maybe in, the, in their son and daughter for, to, for preservation, you know, for, to preserve, so that maybe he will not lose all those things, but to, just to carry it and bring it there. And uh, he said, put it on your son and daughter. Who can carry it? Sons and daughter will carry it. Not all people that will carry the, the, those wealth. So the sons and daughter, they will carry it. They will carry it uh, maybe on their head, on their back. He said, put it on them. He didn't, he didn't ask, he said, let them, he said, give them so that they, they adorn themselves. No, put it on them so that it will be a safe, in safe place. So the use of it now is was in the uh, uh, wilderness where God revealed Himself. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the scripture, the revelation of scripture shows that their use did not continue in dressing among the godly Israel. If you read in Exodus chapter 33, verse 4 to 6. Oh, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Many people are lost because of ignorance. Verse four to three, and when the people, and, and and when the people heard this evil tiding, they mourned, and no man put, and no man did did put on his, uh, put on him his other men. Verse five, for the Lord said unto Moses, say unto the Lord of, say unto say unto the children of Israel, ye are stiff necked people. I will come up in the midst of the of thee in a moment and consume thee. Now, now, this is God. Now, therefore, put off the ornament from thee that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornament by the mount of Ore. God started revealing himself now that that ornament is not to put it when you put in your body. I'm not at it's not the purpose of it. Put it off. Then after I will see what I will do to you. You see, to bring the anger of God down, they have to remove their ornament. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Give understanding to your children, Father. God was ready to consume them. God was ready to destroy them. God said, you people are stiff neck people. But before you want my anger to go down, remove those ornaments. 
Remove this ornament that you put on you. <sighs> My sister, let God open your spiritual understanding. Let God open your spiritual eyes, ear, so that you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking in your heart. This is not the word of Anduna Tongo Claire. This is the word of God. Let me read again. For the Lord hath said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a stiff necked people. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Now, therefore, now, therefore, now, therefore, put off that ornament from thee. Put off that ornament from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of God, they began to strip. They began to remove that ornament. They began to remove that ornament. Because they were afraid when God angered, the anger of God. <laughs> and God has not revealed himself to them. To, because God has not revealed himself the way he revealed himself to you today in the New Testament. God has completed his work. God has revealed himself to his church. God has revealed his way to his church. God said, be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because I am holy. The holiness of God. If you want to enter the kingdom of God, you must be holy within and without, my sister. That your body, stop adorning that your body. The way of the world. The vain beauty. The physical adornment. That is not that adornment God is asking you. Let it be that hidden man of the heart. Hallelujah. That hidden man of your heart must adorn your body. Because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is not on your own. Hallelujah. We will, fin we will stop here. Tomorrow we will come back. Part 4. We will come back to speak about the case of King Saul. Hallelujah. We will speak about the king of uh, Saul. Solomon. Many people saw Solomon. 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 Hallelujah. We we'll speak about uh, the verse Ezekiel 16. People say, oh God, put your head on Jerusalem. Oh God did. Hallelujah. You know, they say, oh Daniel, the chain of God was put on Daniel. All this word that the devil will use the verses, use the verses to deceive the children of God. Deceive, deceive. People are going to have fire because of ignorance. You know, they will say, oh, in Luke chapter 15, the father of the prodigal son put on a ring on his son. All those things they don't even understand that just looking a verse for a verse that, that they, they, they will hide yeah so you have listened you've listened today abraham is not an example for you to take abraham is a father of faith where god is 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 is, is happy take the lesson that god wants you to get from abraham because he's a father of faith hallelujah and because of that he found favor in the eyes of God. But it is not everything that Abraham did that was blameless. Like he married two wives. And he did it. He didn't know the mind of God. Like you know today. Hallelujah. You know the mind of God. In totality, the word of God. King James Version is there. Free. Free. Hallelujah. You can read it. You know the word of God. Abraham didn't know anything. He didn't know anything. The little one, you know, you obey very well. If Abraham was alive today, he will obey this word of God. So you that want to take the case of Abraham to justify your sin, go and marry two wife. He married Aga. Go and take it. Joseph, we don't know if Joseph knew the mind of God concerning Jewelries. We don't know if after when Pharaoh put this thing in his, his, his ring, in his finger, he, he wore them always. We don't know. Therefore, the case of Joseph is not an example. Hallelujah. The case of Joseph, God bless you, ma. Hello? Hello, yes, God bless you. Yes, mommy. It's Amen. How can I help you, sir? Praise God. Um, continue to pray and take a breakfast.
us because the, the higher term has has come. Amen. 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 God bless you, sir. Amen. Somebody else is calling. Amen, sir. God bless you. Uh, two people are calling. One, yeah. I will just off it. Uh, sorry about that. So the case of Abraham is not a case of, you know, the case of Joseph. So you cannot take it as an example. You hide before be, behind it and say, okay, since Abraham, if I will put a ring in the hands of the Joseph, I will therefore I will put on ring too. You don't know whether Joseph wore it all the time. You don't know whether he knew the mind of God. If God has revealed himself to reveal his mind concerning jewelries to Jacob. Just like he never revealed himself. Even Abraham never knew that God's name is Jehovah. That is God's say. He said that to Moses. That he has not revealed all himself to Abraham. Amen. So it's gradually my sister. But you, God has revealed himself to you. Three entirely you know the left of god you know the hand of god you know the right the front of god you know the back of god you know the center of god you know everything is here hallelujah and i pray that the message of today will go in a fatter ground and bear good fruits in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you my sister and i will see you tomorrow for the uh, next part part three and part four today was part three part four today we'll see other cases so that tomorrow the devil will not deceive you again in the name of jesus you will never be deceived again concerning jewelries in the mighty name of jesus you will never be deceived again concerning jewelries in the mighty name of jesus you will have jewelry just like the lord told israel put it away those ornaments before i decide what to do with you you will hate it the way god hates it in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, let your adornment be not that physical adornment, but that hidden man of the heart. Hallelujah. If you are really holy, I want to see it, my sister. Your neighbor must see it. Your husband must see it. People must see it. Let them hate you. May they call me holy, holy. They call me mad woman. They call me a certain name. But I thank God. You understand? He that want to live a godly life, must be persecuted. So persecution is our hymns of every day. We are used to it. We eat it. We eat it every day till we die. The persecution of today is not even called persecution. I don't call this thing persecution because the real persecution is when, yes, they say they will take matches. They say renounce Jesus. You don't want to renounce. If they say, Ale, renounce. You say, no, I will not renounce. Uh, yes, I will not get done. That is the, what they call persecution. They will take uh, uh, a pet cord. They will start pouring into your body, in your, your hair, everywhere. They say they will put, they will put light. On. Are you going to renounce? You say no. That is what they call persecution. When they take knife, they want to cut off your head. That is what they call persecution. Not today. Somebody mock you. The mocking will not even touch me. Since people are mocking me. Somebody did video against me in America. I don't know. People are talking. Some people even call me, stop doing this thing. Stop doing this thing. You know, I said I will not stop. Since it's not a man that sent me. I'd rather obey God than obey men. Hallelujah. The devil is shaking because many souls are saved. Ah! All over the world, women are changing. Ah! This is the work of God. Like, like bush fire. Like a brother said from Ghana, he said, bush fire. Women are changing. There is nothing Satan can do. The Lord showed me in a dream. As he was showing to me, he was showing it to another sister. I saw the queen of the coast and released a demon. This demon is a very dangerous demon. This demon was just bringing out curses out of his mouth. And this demon is there to deceive people. The queen of the coast is sending the demon to go and deceive people. And the demon has worn my face. That if the devil can change his life like an angel of uh, 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 light, if the devil can 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 be like a fake Jesus, that is the only way now. Satan now want to deceive people, but don't be deceived, sister. Don't be deceived. The queen of the cross is just wasting time. 
She's making noise. Because surely the will of God must prevail over his church. And as the Lord was showing to me, another sister was showing it, seeing it to the same time, the same in that same night. How the devil has released a demon. That demon have my face. Oh, to go and deceive people, to tell people, do not listen to Claire. Do not listen to Claire. Do not listen to Claire. If you are not somebody that pray, you know, all those things, the Lord allow it. I told God why. For God to show it to me is for me to pray again. To pray. You understand? It's a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. Satan used all sorts of weapons to deceive people. Hallelujah. But you now, stick on your word, the word of God. Stick on the word of God. A brother saw in here because here we are not much, but God is revealing us things. Another brother saw the queen of the coast was saying, I will know how to get clear. I will know how to I will get clear. And I was there singing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I had a file in my hand. She could not get that file. Demon cannot get that file. And she sent a demon. The demon she sent by the grace of God, his head cut off. And she released a note that demon that is fearful that that other one and the, the, the other demon was afraid to come near me and i was singing she said don't worry i know how to get clear so for her to get me is to look for a demon that looked like me Woo! Queen of the coast. Ha! your throne must fall 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 in the mighty name of jesus because only jesus christ only jesus christ is the head of the church hallelujah the truth must be told and children of God are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us continue to pray. I thank God for all the people that are praying. People, please, this ministry is not a small ministry. I want you to join me in prayer. Pray, pray, pray that the Lord must deliver the sister. If you are persecuted, thank God. If they chase you out of the church, thank God. If they mock you, thank God. Just continue. The way of holiness, the highway of holiness. No unclean thing shall pass over there. God bless you, my sister. I will see you tomorrow. The same time, by the grace of God. Amen. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I thank you. I bless your holy name. Thank you for today's topic. The jewel is Lord. Thank you for giving us the grace to go deeper. Father, I pray, Lord, as the children have heard today, Father, that life will never be the same. Just like you hate all those things, of, 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 the jewel is upon our body. Father, let, let your children hate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Put a separation between us and the idol in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to put away every strange God, every, to cleanse ourselves, Father, to change our garment according to Genesis chapter 5, 35 verse 1 to 4. In in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. We are your children. Apart from the bodily, Lord, adornment, apart from that, Father, check our heart. Expose every sin in our heart. Purify us, Father. Let that hidden man, let that hidden man of our heart, Father, be purified and sanctified. And let our body to reflect the hidden man, the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for all my sisters all over the world. Let your blessing, blessing be upon them. And let your favor be upon them. Let the glory of God be upon us in the name of Jesus. I pray for all my sisters that are persecuted in their, in their home. Father, give peace to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them peace and give them the grace to stand to the firm, to, to stand firm to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, the rest of the day in your hand. Father, if you come today, remember me and all my sisters in the name of Jesus. Remember me and my children. Help us not, not to sin against you. Is there any way we have sinned against you? Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. I cover both me, myself, my children, my sisters, all my sisters that are listening now in the blood of Jesus. And I pray, Father, grant us heaven at last. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, my sister. So, I will see you tomorrow by the grace of God. Amen. Jesus is coming very soon. Prepare. Hallelujah. Prepare, 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 prepare. Jesus is coming soon. Shalom. Amen. Uh, before I say shalom. Is it shalom? Yeah, shalom. Bye, my sister. Uh, ah, yeah. Bye.